Good day. From the Government Information Service, I'm Homer Dimock with your Midday News Brief. The Ministry of Education has detailed plans for the reopening of schools on Monday, January 11, 2021, following the abrupt closure due to community spread of COVID-19. As per the protocols that were established for the reopening of school last September, small school populations will operate using the whole school approach. Schools that were on the alternate day system will ensure that students get at least three days of face-to-face -face instruction per cycle. This will be supplemented using the distributed learning model. Where possible, students of kindergarten, grade 6 and 5th form students will have face-to-face -face instruction for the entire school cycle. Sporting activities at schools are limited to small group physical engagements and non-contact sport activities. Additionally, mass crowd gatherings at schools are not allowed and students and school staff upon return to the school premises must adhere to the established protocols, which include temperature checks, sanitizing of hands, physical distancing and wearing of masks. Tourism officials anticipate improved arrivals in the next quarter after a nationwide lockdown in Britain, a major source market for St. Lucia. This and other challenges to the sector at the start of the new year has had a significant impact on the momentum built in December 2020. The issues were discussed at a press conference hosted by the St. Lucia Tourism Authority. Tourism Minister Honorable Dominic Fady says measures have been instituted in hopes of maintaining the sector. The expected dip in arrivals due to these pandemic disruptions will break the momentum set in December 2020, which peaked at 10,000. While this represents 25% of figures recorded for that period in the previous year, it was a high performance under pandemic conditions. Goodwill Ambassador, businessman, entrepreneur and philanthropist, His Excellency Kenny Chitole has donated medical supplies and emergency packages to St. Lucia as the nation combats COVID-19. Minister with Responsibility for Culture and Creative Industries, Honorable Senator Fortuna Belrose expressed gratitude for the donation, indicating that government will be working with relevant agencies to ensure the supplies and packages are distributed to those most in need. Ambassador Chitoli, who resides in Canada, collaborated with Northstock Corporation, Superior Medical Canada and Global Medic in sourcing the supplies. This concludes your midday news brief on the National Television Network. I'm Huma Dimark, wishing you the best until next time.